We have new details since 5 o'clock about the bomb threat that canceled classes at the University of St. Thomas St. Paul campus. An all clear has finally been given. Here is a timeline of what happened. The school says it received a threat a few minutes before 10 this morning. About 30 minutes later, a second threat came in, this time specifically naming McNeely Hall, a building that houses classrooms and offices for St. Thomas Business School. Carolyn's Ken Erdahl has been on campus all day where officials just wrapped up a news conference not too long ago. Kent? Hi, Randy. You know, it's interesting because during that news conference just minutes ago, the public safety director told us it was actually a third call that caused this threat to be elevated another time, again, then canceling classes and forcing the closure of the school. Uh, that threat came in as they were already evacuating McNeely Hall and two other buildings, including the Child Development Center, which included that video you may have seen of young children in cribs being moved about campus. Now, the Maine University switchboard received that third call uh, from someone, that same caller they believe, um, moving it to another building on campus. Not only that, the public safety officials grew concerned that the caller was monitoring information on the safety alerts they were sending to the public, which is why they decided to close everything down. We felt some of the terminology being used by the caller indicated that they were probably monitoring our, our statements. Over your uh, radio? Through our alerts. Obviously, that presents a complicated scenario for those that are trying to get information out to students and faculty on campus. They said at that point they pivoted and they started sending those alerts to specific groups and people in specific buildings. Said They said it was something they were able to do. It also kind of explains some of the confusion here amongst members of the public wondering at that point why some of these decisions had been made. Of course, after all of that, they said that they did go through all of the buildings here on campus, including the dormitories, and found nothing suspicious, which then gave them the opportunity to give the all clear. They'll be back in class here on the St. Paul campus tomorrow. Randy, back to all you. All right, very good. Thank you, Kent.